Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? We're back with another video. Um, I don't know if this is coming out today or tomorrow. Um, depends on how fast I edit this and if I can make a thumbnail. Um, but in today's tutorial, I will be teaching you how to play your Gorilla Tag fan game VR. Um, leave a like if you found this tutorial helpful. Um, Subscribe if you feel like it. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, and we are 48 away. Um, and yeah, you can be an OG, so go ahead and claim your OG ticket. Uh, in the comments, leave ideas for tutorials you want to see next, or just videos that you want to see next in general. And um, that's really all. Let's get straight into this. Um, you... Once you open up Unity, you want to go to File, Build Settings, and then down here, click on Player Settings, and it should bring you to here. Now, for your company name, um, name this whatever your company is. So, like, Gorilla Tag's company is um, another Axiom. Um, or you could do, like, your name, studios, or something. I'm just going to put Chase Ray 79 And then for product name, put whatever you want the name of the game to be. So I'm just going to do tutorial. Version, you can put it as low as 0 0.01, which I will do. And don't change default cursor, but for default icon, you can, um, move these over. Oh. You can move these over real quick. And then in your assets folder, you can do import new asset and then import, um, a picture of what the game is going, or like, Import the app's picture. So, like, um, Gorilla Tag, you would just import the Gorilla Tag monkey face. But once you've imported it, you come over here and you click on select. Wait, no, not for cursor, for icon. You click select. And then change it to whatever you want. So, I would just do a box. And then... Then come down to the Android tab right here, click on Splash Image. Then for Virtual Reality Splash Image, you want to select. And then, like, um, here's an example. So when you load into Orion Drift, it'll show that, um, like, it shows the another Axiom logo, and this is A2 on it. Or when you load into Gorilla Tag, it shows the Gorilla Tag monkey face for like a second and it like follows you wherever you look, you know? Um, just do whatever you want to pop up there. I'm just gonna do the box again. And then you can change the background color. I'm just gonna leave it as uh, black. And then close out of that and open up other settings then right here where it says color space you want it to be linear msaa fallback you want to be downgrade um right here you want texture compression format to be astc you want normal map encoding to be xyz and you want light map encoding to be low quality now you want to scroll down a little bit and the version and stuff should already be here um and your bundle version code, you have to update this every single time you make an update. So, in this update, it'll be 1, but if I make, like, 5 more updates, it'll be 6. Uh, you have to update your bundle version code by 1, and your version by however much you want. Then your minimum API level, you need to be Android 10 API level 29. And target API level, do automatic highest installed. For scripting backend, you want to change it from mono to IL2CPP. Then you want to make sure API compatibility level is 
.NET Standard 2.1 and IL2CPP, oh wait, no, and C++ Compiler Configuration, you want to be Release. Now you want to come to Publishing Settings, click on Keystore Manager, Keystore, create a new in a dedicated location, and then just put this key store wherever you want it to be. Uh, I'm just going to keep it in my downloads folder because it, it is... Actually, I'm, put it wherever you want it to be. I'm just going to put it in my um, GTEC fan game tut folder right here. And then... Uh, right here, you want to click on yes. And then it'll just say user.keystore and it'll automatically put in your password and Elias and stuff. Um, every If you ever close Unity and then you reopen it, then you, if you want to make another one, you have to come back here and re-put in the password. Um, so just remember that. Next, you want to close out of the project settings and come back to this build settings tab right here. Uh, you want to go to the Android tab and click on switch platform down here um and this will take a while to load and mine is still like compiling scripts and everything but once yours finally loads um you want to make sure on the android tab it has this little unity logo right here um and then you just want to click build rename it to whatever you want and then click on um build and it will start making the game um and if it says down here that the process failed while building then you want to come to texture compression and change it from use player settings to astc and then rebuild it and if that still doesn't work then want to change the place where you're saving the build to so like um if you're saving it to downloads, save it to documents instead, and then move it to downloads later. Uh, I don't know why you need to do that, but it's kind of stupid, but just go ahead and do that. Um, and that will be all for today's... Oh, it says my microphone's very loud. Well, that will be all for today's video. Um... If you found this helpful, leave a like, subscribe, help me get to 1k, you know, I said this in the intro and stuff. Um, if you need a tutorial on how to actually play it on VR, um, I can teach you that after I do the player model tutorial, I guess. Um, so stay tuned and stick around for that. But otherwise, that's all, so uh, goodbye. Oh, oh, oh.